Mark Zuckerberg is going to absolutely destroy Elon Musk in the cage fight they're having. And I'm going to use every living fiber in my body to convince you of how Mark Zuckerberg's going to beat Elon Musk in the fight. And just in case you didn't think I took this far enough, I fed an AI all the information about Elon and Mark and got it to simulate what will happen when they actually fight. So make sure you watch to the end to see what happens there. However, first I need to tell you about Elon Musk and his transformation, as this is the information I fed to the AI. In July 2022, Elon Musk was spotted on holiday by paparazzi on a boat with his top off. However, this would lead to a massive uproar of hate and humiliation towards Elon's physique, with him practically getting roasted by the entire internet. However, instead of complaining about it and blaming everybody else, Elon decided to change because of this, using this as motivation, saying, To be honest, it's good motivation to work out, eat healthier, and maybe take my shirt off outside more than once a year. And four months later, in November, he would announce that he'd lost over 12 kilos from intermittent fasting and lifting weights. It is great how he's made this much progress, to be fair. It will be a lot more nimble in the fight, which is very important. Elon has also mentioned that he has done cage fighting training and his coach goes to say that he is stronger than the average man. With photos of him in practice UFC fights backing this up, it seems pretty promising that will win, right? Wrong! Mark Zuckerberg, the creator of Facebook, has always been made fun of for his odd look and vibe, just coming off as socially awkward. And because of this, people even went to the extent of calling him a lizard because he just seems unhuman in a way with the way he interacts with people. However, after all of this, everybody was shocked when they heard that Mark was actually a gold medalist in a jiu-jitsu tournament. This nerd is a silent killer, is the headline on an article, and it couldn't have been any better said. And just watching his fights is like you're in a fever dream. There's the same man spending years of his life making a version of our world in VR promoting less physical activity while he's out there winning gold medals in jiu-jitsu tournament. And now he's been doing it for years, which instantly counteracts everything Elon has done. Seeing as yes, he probably is learning all the right stuff, but the main thing is about this stuff is experience. You could possibly joke about how Elon has a high predicted IQ and that this could help him win a fight, but in the end, that's a joke. He is not winning a fight through talking about rockets. Mark's definitely got a high battle IQ through the years of experience and actual tournament scenarios. However, some may go to say jujitsu and cage fights are not the same thing. Well, although you may think this, it is actually a technique used inside of cage fights. Although it's more rarely used now in fighting competitions like MMA, it still is used. Mark even had training footage released, and unlike his opponent, Elon, he seems to be taking this much more serious, seeing as Elon said, I'm going to do a move called the Walrus, where I lie on top of you and don't move. And it just really shows what the outcome of the fight will be. Elon should be working his hardest to even get to where Mark's base is right now and Mark is improving, which is just making this harder and harder for Elon. From what we can see, he doesn't seem to be getting stronger like Mark is. For example, when looking back at Zuckerberg's old jiu-jitsu tournament, you can see how his fighting style has improved when you look at new videos of him fighting. But maybe Elon just hasn't released footage of him fighting yet. Maybe he just wants it to be a surprise, seeing as he did offer the fight in the first place. But then again, knowing his personality, this could have just been a statement out of ego. Elon can make all of his jokes he wants, calling him a lizard, but after this fight, people are going to be calling Mark the lizard. But just before we get to the AI fight, I want to talk about one more thing, and that is, who will be supporting who? Well, after Elon tweeted, If I die under mysterious circumstances, it's been nice knowing you. On May 8th, 2022, Mr. Beast responded to that, saying, if that happens, can I own Twitter? With Elon responding, yes. And this with other conversations shows that Mr. Beast and Elon Musk are pretty good friends and that Mr. Beast would definitely be supporting Elon. And looking at Elon Musk's social media personality, he'd pretty much have all the biggest social media influencers on his side. This could actually affect Mark and his mentality before the fight. However, this is highly unlikely, seeing as most of the time, people like Mark and Elon barely even go on YouTube themselves. So the fact that they'd even see some hate would kind of be a small slim chance. And this means this will not stop Mark from absolutely destroying Elon Musk. And to prove it, the AI fight is right next. After all the information was fed into it, the AI produced this. Watch your jab, bro. Watch your 